Brad Swanson here. Today we're doing a very special video here at the recently completed Iona College. We're going to build on our last video's ideas of the good, better, best model and see how they've been applied in this education setting. So to take you back to last month's video, we talked about good lighting, being functional lighting for the space and task, better, being lighting for the people and to create visual comfort, and lastly best, using accent lighting controls to enhance the visual environment. This is not your ordinary learning space. Obviously much thought has been put into the design, planning and all aspects of this build. With non-conventional spaces requires non-conventional lighting and breaking away from the traditional classroom is the way that schools are moving forward to create learning environments that foster creativity and focus. The classroom. We all remember our old classrooms and for most of us they were fluorescent battens or troughers spaced out over our heads and everyone facing the front of the room. Whether we are looking to the front of the room for a more traditional style presentation learning or working together in teams to build essential communication and social skills, the lighting must be able to adapt. One thing that is becoming increasingly important is the use of flicker-free lighting in schools. Flicker-free lighting can assist in limiting temporal light artifacts which are undesired effects on a person's visual perception, such as flickering. Visible flicker is distracting and irritating, but it doesn't end there. Both visible and invisible flicker have been linked as a major cause of migraines and headaches, along with eye strain and general discomfort in spaces where people are spending prolonged lengths of time. Example, the classroom. So let's run through this collaboration space. Firstly, students have the ability to control the lighting themselves. Between the downlights and the linear, they can set the dimming levels to create the perfect environment for quiet or focused times during the day. They can also select areas to sit for different tasks, workstations or couch areas, and also a reading area where the color temperature is lower to allow for a more relaxed reading environment. But 4000K in the majority of the space where more screen-based and focused learning would take place. To wrap up this video, let's recap a few of the main points. Looking back on the good, better, best model, we found all elements of the matrix. Sufficient task lighting, having visual comfort through low glare and dynamic control, also indirect and accent lighting in all areas from classrooms to collaboration spaces. Well, I hope you've enjoyed walking around this incredible facility. As always, please visit unios.com to find out more about the products you've seen here today. And please check out Unios Lighting on YouTube to see more videos in the Lighting Explained series. Thank you and see you next time.